Don't try to behave yourself. Okay, right, sir. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Airborne all the way. To some, the concerns of others may seem like an unwelcome burden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Chaplain there. Paul Weberg considers soldiers' worries a gift. Chaplain Weberg has been a Benedictine monk and Catholic priest for nine years and a soldier for five. In addition to drill weekends with the National Guard, he's done four tours in Iraq as part of his military ministry and is currently at Southern Accord 2012, a joint exercise for the United States and the Republic of Botswana. I had to become uh, more assertive in my ministry. Uh, I'm usually one to kind of sit back and let people come to me, uh, but in this uh, military setting, uh, you can't do that. You have to be more missionary. Sergeant Vincent Guzman, a chaplain's assistant and 12-year marriage counselor at his non-denominational church, has seen Chaplain Weberg interact with troops of every faith. We see that he's able to come across uh, very, very well received, humbly, yet with a certain confidence. Most troops expect to see chaplains at the weekly service, but their work expands far beyond the altar. Typically it's understood that the chaplains are around just for Sundays or you know, just, for, just for church. Um, and then they're much more than that. They're, they're chaplains seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Chaplain Paul Weberg is a man serving both his God and his country. He wants his soldiers to know that he is there for any troop of any faith at any time. Sergeant Dan LaGrasso, Botswana. Having fun yet? <laughs>